For nine years, you at home have been making it happen for families and children, children who need critical care. Won't you please continue? They need your help. The number's simple, 977-CBS3. That's 844-977-CBS3. Call these wonderful people surrounding me right now. They would love to hear from you. They, Ronald McDonald House provides a loving place to stay for families and children all around the area. We have some more now from Stephanie Stahl. Steph? Hey, Yuki, as you said, so many families being helped. One I'm about to tell you about 14-year-old Jason Somerset. He went from being a student athlete to a cancer patient. When that happens, the family is turned into complete turmoil. Well, that's where the Ronald McDonald House enters. There is a place that you can have comfort, have fun, and just be a kid. 14-year-old Jason Somerset gets to play endless video games at the Wilmington Ronald McDonald House. Would you like to try some pool? And there's the game room with a pool table where Jason tries to give me some pointers. Don't laugh if I mess this up, okay? I won't. I won't. Promise? Mm -hmm. No pressure here. It's just about having fun <laughs> and being distracted. Yes! An oasis from treatment for Jason, who has leukemia. I was in a lot of pain. For two and a half years, he's endured an onslaught of treatments. Watching your child go from a cross-country runner to being in a wheelchair for six months and not sure he's going to walk again and not sure that he was going to make it through just the first phase of treatment is devastating. It's every parent's nightmare having a sick child. With Jason getting weekly treatments at DuPont, the family has found salvation across the street at the Ronald McDonald House. Coming to the hospital heals the body. Coming to the house helps to heal the soul. And when you put the two together, you get a child back. You know, that's, and that's important. One of Jason's doctors, Dr. Kolb, says the three and a half years of treatment is difficult, but there's a good chance he'll be cured. Yeah, I think anytime you're faced with a diagnosis like cancer or, or many of the other diagnoses in, uh, that are here in the house, uh, it, it's a shock. You know, it's a, it's a shock to the system, a shock to the family structure and environment. And uh, the house provides a community of, of people that have been through that experience or similar experiences. Uh, it's a very safe and comfortable place to come that looks and feels like nothing like the inpatient units where, where these people, uh, where the kids have to stay. For Jason's family, the house provides a substantial financial savings, not having to stay in a hotel. It's become their home away from home. It makes it a little easier for me to, to stay healthy and help and happy. And there's the camaraderie of bonding with other families who have children in treatment. It's the joy, the, the, the fun, the laughter, the, the support, the kindness, the, all of those things that all come together that you're part of. And you had no idea that you were part of it until all of a sudden you're here. So, so many families helped by the Ronald McDonald House. Yuki, let's go back over to you. Stephanie, thank you so much. I had to stand up now. I was sitting down because I had to answer the phone. The phone was ringing. It's a great thing. We got a call from Francis. Francis, I know you're on the phone, but thank you. Thank you all for calling in. By the way, if you haven't called yet or haven't donated yet, let me tell you about three ways, three ways to donate. Again, you can do it by calling us at 844-977-CBS3. You can give $10 by texting the word family, one of my favorite words, family to 20222. Data and message rates apply, or you can donate online by going to cbsphilly.com. Just click on the banner at the top of your homepage. Francis, thank you. Tri-State area, thank you. We have a long way to go, 8 p.m.